countdown is on. Look at that. 38 days to go now. 38 days and counting until the leadoff Iowa caucuses. And once you have Iowa, they start coming fast and furious. Let's take a look at the leaderboard, the average of all the polls in Iowa right now. Buttigieg narrowly leads, then Sanders, then Biden, then Warren. Very close race. How about New Hampshire? That comes a little more than a week later. Talk about a tight race. Sanders, Buttigieg, Biden, Warren, all within about six points of each other. You go out to Nevada. Biden's got the lead. He's not exactly running away with it, though. And of course, then South Carolina, that's where Biden has the big lead. He's calling that his firewall. You familiar with these numbers? We've been talking about these numbers. They set expectations. Here's the only problem. How many polls are we actually talking about here? Iowa, month of December. There have only been two polls. Two polls taken in the state of Iowa. And by the way, see this here, qualifying polls. Remember, the DNC has that. It's a pretty long list. The DNC has a pretty long list of officially designated polls that they use for inclusion in the debates. They tend to be the more gold standard polls, the bigger name. There have been zero of those in Iowa this month. So two polls, neither of them is a DNC debate qualifying poll. That's all we're going on in Iowa. When we tell you who's winning, who's losing out there right now, New Hampshire, there's been one there's been one poll in the entire state of New Hampshire this month. That poll was not a DNC sanctioned debate qualifying poll. How about Nevada? Zero. No polls at all of any kind in Nevada in December. One in South Carolina. And again, that poll in South Carolina, not a DNC sanctioned poll. And so the four key leadoff states, four crucial states. These are the states that are going to winnow the field. They're probably going to create a front runner, maybe a clear, maybe an overwhelming front runner. To figure out what's going on there, in terms of polling, this is all you got. You got four for the entire month that's finishing up right now. None of them are those sort of brand name DNC qualifying polls. At this point, last time around, end of December 2015, in these four states, we were looking at 14 different polls. Right now, we're only looking at four. Why are there far fewer this time around? Money. Money's a big reason. Polls are getting more expensive, especially at the state level, because it's harder and harder to reach voters. It's harder and harder to get people to pick up the phone. The last time you got a cell phone call started buzzing, maybe your landline, you didn't recognize the number. When's the last time you just picked up the phone? It's one of the problems pollsters have right now. So far fewer polls. Good news is this. We're in a slow period right now, the week between Christmas and New Year. Not going to expect to see many right now. I think maybe in that first week or two of the new year, there might be a batch of new polls coming out. Boy, do we need them to find out what is happening in these states. But again, 14 polls at this point four years ago really gave us a good sense of what was going on in these states. Right now, only four. So it's very limited. You look out there, there's evidence that Buttigieg has surged in Iowa. There's evidence that Biden's running from a behind, maybe slightly behind out there. But let's see.